first-year students of Ukraine's Kiev Mahila Academy were accompanied to the university initiation ceremony by their proud parents. We have two sons. They went to school together, and both of them were accepted here. Marharita and Yulia have enrolled in courses focusing on international relations and politics. These days are crucial for our country, and even we, students, must help solve important problems. We are ready to do our best. Dmitro's plans for his first year at university are less global, but still difficult. My main goal now is to get a scholarship. For now, I pay for my education. You know, I want to become a kind of a nerd, to always do my homework and get closer to my goal. Students of the Kiev Mahila Academy believe that in addition to hard work, they can achieve success with the help of a local tortoise, one of the university's mascots. If you pet her, you will do well at university. Her name is Alma, and she has been living on the premises of the Kiev Mahila Academy for more than 20 years. At the beginning of every school year, students can see and pet the tortoise. Because of the large number of those willing to do it, this part of the initiation ceremony is called the Battle for Alma. This year, Kiev Mahila Academy introduced scholarships for the young men and women who have fought in Donbass. This year, four students who were members of the armed forces enrolled in the school. They all decided to study public administration. And it's really interesting. I think it's evidence that these people who defended the country with weapons in their hands, who dedicated their lives for the future of their country, they don't want anyone to control them. They want to learn how to run the country. Dmitro is one of them. He's a former mortar operator. In 2014 and 2015, he helped defend Mariupol. Ramon fought in Donbass since 2016. He was a vehicle commander. He was accompanied to the initiation ceremony by his four-year-old son. Andriana joined the IDAR battalion at the start of Russia's undeclared war in eastern Ukraine. She took part in the liberation of several Ukrainian settlements. Firstly, education is a way of rehabilitation after returning from war. Also, education gives us confidence and a chance to continue the fight here. I traded the front line in the East for the front line in civilian life as a public activist. The Kiev Mahila University plans to expand its free education for war veterans program in the coming years.